another day, another video of me talking about taboo things that make people uncomfortable. Look, I don't like talking about this stuff, but we live in a dark, sick society and these things need to be brought to light. There is a new trend among liberals and the LGBT community wherein people are trying to humanize pedophilia and legitimize pedosexuality. Yes, you heard me. There are people who are trying to make pedophilia a sexual orientation. That's right. And if you dare criticize these people, you are an oppressive, bigoted pedophobe. There have actually been a few people who have made videos on YouTube talking about pedophile acceptance and how pedophilia is normal and healthy. Blair White made a good video about this, exposing these vile individuals, which I will link in the description. And she said she actually received a lot of backlash and that many people were actively defending these YouTubers who are openly advocating for the legalization of sex with children. And no, this is not about legalizing sex with young teenagers, okay? These people are talking about toddlers as young as three years old. There are people on social media who identify as MAPs, which stands for Minor Attracted Persons. Uh, a group named Virtuous Pedophiles holds a discussion forum for people who are attracted to children but do not want to act on it. There is NAMBLA, uh, North American Man-Boy Love Association. It's 2017 and we are now supposed to be accepting of a man who wants to have sex with our daughter but is resisting preying on children. And we should praise him for being virtuous. When people are literally fired from their jobs for having conservative opinions and we have pedophiles who are free to make videos on YouTube about how their perversion is totally normal and healthy. People get banned from Twitter for expressing right-wing views but pedophiles are allowed to openly advocate for the legalization of sex with toddlers without getting suspended. Absolutely sickening. Okay, so I've researched this and I've tried to understand the reasoning of the SJWs that are starting to defend these people. Because the left will defend this. After all, cultural relativism tells us that the disdain of pedosexuality is a social construct and its negative connotations in society are what cause the issues you see in children raped by pedophiles. This is the true danger of postmodernism. We can normalize any and all transgressions under the guise of equality. After all, any value system is equivalently arbitrary and thus, who are we to disagree with pedophilia? It's a natural progression of their worldview which views all humans as equally deserving of rights. Since pedophiles don't choose their sexual attractions, they deserve our help and compassion to resist offending. Most of these people are also atheists and do not believe in good and evil, so a lot of leftists think there is no such thing as truly bad people. Listen, there are some seriously sick people in this world, okay? People who are completely devoid of empathy and compassion. Sociopaths and psychopaths exist, people who literally derive pleasure out of harming others. I can't believe I even need to explain this, but the reason people view pedophiles in a negative light is because they are people who want to engage in sexual acts with little people who have not yet developed the cognitive ability to understand what it is that these pedophiles are asking them to do or are doing to them. Children don't understand sex. They have no knowledge of how it works, why we do it. The concept probably scares most kids. Even if children are to consent, they have zero understanding of the physical and social ramifications of what it is they are about to engage in. So the left says it's rape when a drunk woman is taken advantage of, but are now trying to legitimize sex with children? Engaging in sexual acts with another person who has no idea what's going on is rape. A grown adult having full control over an underdeveloped child is just so wrong. Children's minds are malleable like putty, okay? You can convince kids that Santa Claus and unicorns are real and they will fully believe it. They'll believe anything you tell them is true. They have no reason not to believe you and they have no means of finding out whether you are telling the truth or not. 
We don't let children have sex for the same reason we don't let them go places alone, drive, vote or play with dangerous weapons. It has long been understood that children who have suffered from child sexual abuse are likely to experience severe trauma from the event. Researchers have concluded that feelings of sexual confusion, worthlessness, depression and suicidal thoughts are associated with sexual abuse. In many cases, even post-traumatic stress disorder has been thought to be a consequence. Pedophiles are not just another oppressed minority, okay? The primary compassion should be shown towards children. Prioritizing the treatment of potential predators endangers the child when compassion is misplaced. Yes, these people probably didn't choose their desires and they are human beings, but so what? I care about the children primarily. There is no compelling data on the efficiency of pedophile treatment. We don't even know that helping these people long term is possible or effective. It seems mostly to be helpful for somewhat reducing offending rates and other undeniable things like reducing desire, but it's impossible to know if people undergoing treatment still use child pornography, for example. There is just too much risks and unknowns to back anything other than institutionalization or draconian measures, and therefore humanizing them just creates barricades for these actions. Look, I'm sure there are pedophiles out there who would never touch a child because they have a good sense of morality and know it would traumatize them. But that is not the case for most pedophiles. Many abuse kids and get put in jail. Some do and don't ever get caught. Some don't do it because they're scared of getting caught, but would totally do it if it was legal or socially acceptable. Now, what's alarming is not only the social justice warriors who are attempting to normalize pedophilia, but the fact that mainstream media outlets are actively pushing this agenda. From the Huffington Post, not all pedophiles have mental disorder, American Psychiatric Association says. 10 things you need to know before you marginalize pedophiles. From the New York Times, pedophilia, a disorder, not a crime. From Vice, a child rape victim on why society should be more empathetic to pedophiles. The BBC, pedophiles need help, not condemnation. I should know. Absolutely vile coming from the BBC who defended Jimmy Savile and Ricky Dearman, who they defended for being involved in a satanic child sex ring in London. From The Guardian, to stop pedophiles, we need to help them. The Telegraph, we need to support the good pedophiles. It doesn't matter if you're a boy, girl, or somewhere in between. We all are part of one big family. Gay means happy. Queer kid stuff. You are enough here at Queer Kid Stuff. The left is actively trying to destroy everything that is normal and healthy. Being a straight, cis, fit person is now frowned upon by these people. They are turning everything upside down, telling white people they ought to be ashamed of their history, and at the same time advocating that people should be proud that they are attracted to people of the same sex, or in this case, minors. I couldn't care less about what people do in the privacy of their own homes, but LGBT pride marches are all about glorifying and promoting unnatural sexual behavior. It is about attacking Western morality and the nuclear family. It is about normalizing psychological disorders in order to serve an ideological purpose. It is about indoctrinating children. It is about unleashing sexual anarchy to destroy the foundations of Western civilization. If you want to be a drag queen and your parents don't let you, you need new parents. If you want to be a drag queen and your friends don't let you, you need new friends. Super pumped. I'm going to I'm going to walk the runway and I'm going to vogue. Virgin voguing cuz he's been taking voguing classes okay. with uh, Gerard X Reyes who's fantastic. He's doing first time in drags at a ball. <laughs> We
We started off with gays are not monsters, and from there to homosexuals should have the right to do as they wish in their own homes, and from there that escalated to tolerating public displays of completely debased and degenerate acts. Finally, to allowing gay marriage and gay adoption. We have now reached the stage where we are teaching our children that gender is on a spectrum and that there is no such thing as straight people. Now, these people are trying to use the same emotional arguments like, don't judge. No one should be stigmatized for their sexual identity. Sexuality isn't a choice. These people are born this way. Love should never be illegal. So we are conditioned to accept these arguments as this is the same reasoning that was used to push the acceptance of homosexuals and transsexuals. Pedophiles are not just another oppressed minority. They are potentially dangerous predators. Stigma and fear are sometimes a good thing, you know. We have these biological instincts for a reason. Being wary of creepy men gawking at your children is beneficial if you want to avoid your child being molested and traumatized. People are genuinely starting to use the term pedophobe. Being wary of people who lust over children is not a phobia. It is a perfectly healthy attitude. These people should feel shame and fear. In most cases, fear is the only thing that stops these people from abusing children. Not morality, fear of condemnation or death. The promotion of the gay and lesbian lifestyle is increasing in public schools. A WND survey of homosexual orientated websites found that almost every group has some sort of program to educate teachers, school administrators and other school employees about the homosexual lifestyle. Drag Queen Story Hour. This one is called Worm Loves Worm. Talking, singing, and reading. We can both be grooms. To an audience of preschoolers, toddlers, and their caregivers. The hips on the drag queen go swish, 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 swish. I'm a girl. Past studies have shown a connection between homosexuality and pedophilia. Child molestation and pedophilia are far more common among homosexuals than among heterosexuals. Of course, that is not to say that most homosexuals are pedophiles, but to deny the link is foolish and outright dangerous. Eugene Abel's research found that homosexuals sexually molest young boys with an incidence that is occurring from five times greater than that of molestation of girls. Abel also found that non-incarcerated child molesters admitted from 23 to 281 acts per offender whose targets were male. Abel's data of 150 boys abused per male homosexual offender finds no equal yet in heterosexual violations of 19 girls. Research on the homosexual lifestyle confirms it is almost exclusively a youth-orientated culture. Very few gays exhibit preference for older men. Some admit to focus on teenage boys, some on prepubescent boys, and many cross over between categories. A 1988 study detailed in Baldwin's report found that most pedophiles even consider themselves to be gay. According to the study Archives of Sexual Behavior, some of 86% of pedophiles describe themselves as homosexual or bisexual. Also, the study found the number of teenage male prostitutes who identify as homosexuals has risen from 10 to 60% in the last 15 years. Other experts have also found a distinct pattern between child sex abusers and the incidence of homosexuality. While activists like to claim that pedophilia is a completely distinct orientation from homosexuality, evidence shows a disproportionate overlap between the two. About a third of all child sex abuse cases involve men molesting boys. Homosexuals comprise less than 3% of the population, yet are responsible for one third of all child sex abuse cases. There is an overwhelming correlation between homosexual preference and paedophilia. These are facts you will only hear from so-called homophobes that the left have repeatedly attempted to debunk, but the infatuation with children is rampant and quite evident. We certainly do not want to create a hostile environment towards homosexuals in general. However, it must be recognized that there is an element of that population that has in its sight the lowering of age of consent laws and normalizing pedophilia in order to satisfy their sexual desires. If there is not an effort to stop this and the idea that this is a human rights issue moves forward, we could be causing untold damage to generations 
generations of children who should look to adults for protection, not live in fear of them or have sexual relationships with them. At this point, there is no reasoning with the left. We need to start rejecting their ideology completely. The left's end goal is to destroy the foundations of our society and the very fabric of Western civilization. Tolerance and apathy are the last virtues of a dying society. We will not tolerate this degenerate behavior and indoctrination of our children. And if you're a parent watching this, please know that the internet is a scary place and you should try your best to keep your children away from it for as long as possible. Thanks for watching.